Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I thought it would be cool to compare my real Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM with the Walmart Daisy Rose checkered tote, which is supposed to be the dupe for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. Now I did just post a video that showed many of the Daisy Rose checkered print items. Walmart picked up the Daisy Rose line, Amazon formally sold them, and Daisy Rose was very popular on Amazon, so I see why Walmart kind of made that move and snatched them. So I thought, you know what, why don't I compare the dark checkered or the brown checkered print Daisy Rose Walmart tote to my actual real Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM, which is right here. Kind of see what the major differences are. I mean, the major, major, major difference is going to be that the Daisy Rose that is sold at Walmart does not say Louis Vuitton on any of the checkers. But I kind of wanted to, you know, look at that bag, look at this bag, see what differences there are, similarities, and kind of give you my overall thoughts of like the quality of this bag, go over the price points, everything like so. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see more about these two bags, then just keep watching. Since the Neverfull is a pretty big bag, it might be a little hard to kind of like have them both on screen with one another, so I'll see how good I am at doing this. But first off, this is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM handbag and out of all my handbags I have used this one the most for years. I want to say this is probably like five years old if I had to guess. It still looks like it's almost brand new you guys. Obviously it's worn in. Now the interior of it, uh, it's a hot mess you guys. I've got like stains in there and I don't even know there's like a giant white stain in there but I mean like I said I've used this like every day for like four years straight at least. I've only kind of like switched up my bags recently in the last year. So yeah, that's what the inside looks like. But this is a great, great, great bag. I absolutely love it. So the price point for this one right here, it's pretty steep, you guys. And I remember back like five years ago, I was like saving up every penny for it. On the website, it is $1,430. And for some reason, I still remember the price of what it was with tax. I think it came out to be like $1,452 with the tax. So that is a lot of money for a handbag. And back then, I know I've said this in many of my videos, back then I was just only about the real deal. Like I'm not doing any of these bags. This is what it is and that's it. And now I just don't care anymore, you guys. And you know, we all have bills to pay, especially when we moved into this damn house two years ago. Things changed. I don't see anything wrong with it. So um, yeah, that's like kind of the overview of this bag. Now, the Daisy Rose line, as I said earlier, they do not have any of the Louis Vuitton writing in any of the checkers. Now on my bag right here, you guys can see right where my middle finger is. It says Louis Vuitton Paris and they're kind of scattered throughout the checkers. So obviously that is like the big giveaway here. First off, I kind of want to start with like the coloring of the bag. Now granted, this is about like five years old. So, but I mean, I don't think it's really faded too, too much. It may have just like a little bit, but for the most part, I think the color is still dead on. So this one is just a little bit darker, but honestly, the color is pretty good. I would say, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but like visibly speaking, I'd say that it's a pretty good dupe for the color of or the, you know, the Damier Abend print, if you will. So next I want to move to the handles. Now the handle is definitely um, a difference compared to my real handbag right here. But again, it's like, is anybody really looking at the handles? So the straps or the handles are definitely a lot thicker. As you guys can see, let me kind of like see if I can hold them up or kind of put them next to each other. My real Louis Vuitton they're a little bit thinner than these. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. If you guys look at the straps, you can see that this one is thicker right here. So these straps are thicker and I'd say that this material obviously is different than this. I believe this is all like vegan leather or whatever. That's what it said on like um, Walmart's website. And then next, um, you know, these little like, um, these little straps right here are bigger than the ones on my real Louis, as you guys can see. So now I wanna go into kind of like this area right here. Now it is pretty similar. Obviously, again, there's gonna be some differences. So the major difference between like these two parts right here, first off, is that this 
on the button right here on my real bag, it says Louis Vuitton. This does not. And again, I've had my real Louis Vuitton for five years, but this like gold hardware is like gold hardware. This is, it's more of a faded color. I don't know like exactly what the material is, but this is definitely, I don't know if you guys can like really tell the difference. Maybe if I get, like, get up close, you can see the difference in the color of the hardware, but there is definitely um, a noticeable color difference. Again, it's not like, well, I mean, at least I'm not like looking at the hardware on every purse I see, but some people are like that, you guys, like they really are. So, um, and then obviously it says Louis Vuitton right there. And then if you go to these straps on the side, and this is usually whenever I make like my replica handbag videos, this is like the dead giveaway for like the never fools with me so what's crazy is that in my other like replicas that are the daisy rose version these straps are always like a little bit thinner and i would say the size is like pretty much dead on now what i will say is the daisy rose the straps are definitely flimsier a little bit flimsier than my real one the material is different again and then this to kind of adjust the bag it's very flimsy it doesn't really hold the bag in whereas this on my real one like if you want it to stay there it's going to stay there and you can convert this bag i don't know i can like show you guys um it's easier to probably show you with my real one but you can kind of like cinch the purse in i'll do it on one side to make it like a smaller little tote bag as you guys can see right there, how I kind of cinched it in like that. So that's the purpose of these little like stops right there on the straps. But if I was to do it on this one right here, I don't think it would stay at all. Again, it's just like very flimsy, very loose. But it's not a big deal. It's just an observation. Before I get into the inside of the bag, I just kind of wanted to comment on the size of the squares. Now, these squares, again, they seem darker, but this bag's five years old but I don't think it's an absolute color match. It's close, like I was saying before, but the squares are, or the checkers are about the same size. I mean, it looks like a pretty good dupe to me, you guys, in terms of like, if you were just glance at it, I'd say, yeah, it's pretty good. And then also holding them up together, they're pretty much identically the same size. One's not longer than the other, so I figured I'd mention that. You're getting like the same size bag that's them like put up next to each other. Let's get into the interior. Now, you guys saw before that the interior of mine, it's like so dirty, but um, there's a couple different color options that you can get on Louis Vuitton's website. That's where I got this from. So I went with the red inside. I just love the red with the brown checkered print. I think it is so classy looking. So that's what my inside looks like. You obviously can see the big um, pocket that says Louis Vuitton on it. So the interior color of this is red. It doesn't have any of the lines. It's not the same color red, but that's fine. It's supposed to be a dupe. Now, since this is Daisy Rose brand and not Louis Vuitton, obviously, they put their own little logo right there. I think that's really nice. And it's got like a really nice sized pocket, similar to what the Neverfull would have right there, as you guys can see. But what I've noticed with this is that the pocket in my real Louis Vuitton See how it kind of flaps like that? This is just all one bag. There's no flap for that pocket. So that's another difference that I see. Again, it's not like it's a big deal. I'm just trying to go through like the differences between my real one and this. So then it's got the two pockets right there as you guys can see, which is extra by the way, because that's the only thing with the Neverfull is that you only get the one pocket, you don't get anything else. So in the Daisy Rose, I kind of do like that and I wish Louis Vuitton did do that for their Neverfulls. I wish they included those extra two compartments right there. You could put lip glosses in, you could put a cell phone, etc. So that's what the inside looks like. Very nice. Again, the interior, um, it feels like the fabric it feels different. Um, it's lined a little bit looser than the interior of my Louis Vuitton. And then lastly, getting into the interior of the Daisy Rose, I wanted to mention, and I mentioned this in my um, Walmart video, that they do include the little wristlet, which I like. I just haven't taken like the plastic off this yet. So they do include the wristlet. Now you can keep this because it's hooked to the bag right now. You can keep this in your bag. You can put money in it, use it as a wallet or whatever, or you can put lip glosses in it. It doesn't really matter, but they do include this because if you guys are familiar, the real Louis Vuitton comes with the wristlet. I love this wristlet, you guys. And for me, I don't keep it in my purse. If I'm going out somewhere, I don't want to ring that big bulky bag and I just need like a phone and my ID. This is what I use. I have used this so many times, you guys. I absolutely love this wristlet. 
it is beautiful so you know for the price I paid for my really Louis Vuitton at least I'm getting this wristlet as well to me I justified it as getting like two bags in one but going back to Daisy Rose I do like that they include that now let's just look at these clearly you can see the difference is the size this is the Daisy Rose and this is my um, real Louis Vuitton one not that it's you know a big deal it's got like the gold you know the gold hardware um, actually yeah the gold hardware actually looks pretty decent and similar to the other one so that's what the interior looks like in the Daisy Rose one there's no compartments in there and then in my bigger one that's Louis Vuitton something just dropped out of there they do have a little like divider in here which I like but this is also bigger as well so I mean there are some major differences this is obviously smaller it doesn't have the little divider in it but other than that it's not that bad but again I do like that Daisy Rose kind of does include this little wristlet if you will in the bag now, in terms of like how they feel or how heavy they are the um, Daisy Rose checker print one from Walmart definitely feels heavier than my Louis Vuitton my Louis Vuitton is a little bit lighter but besides the point I just figured I would kind of mention that again these are the bags kind of like next to each other as you guys can see it's hard to like get them on screen completely together because they're so damn big so now that we've kind of compared the bags looked at the inside the outside seen what the major differences are I wanted to go back to the price the Daisy Rose checkered tote from Walmart is $49.98 so we're just gonna call it $50 so you got $50 versus a lot of damn money and it's not that bad you guys like I'm really impressed and I'm so glad again and that's why I made a whole video on it I am so glad that Walmart picked up Daisy Rose because they're so affordable they've got the classic checkered print that everybody loves and you know yeah some people will notice but who cares not everybody can afford a handbag that is like $1,500. So I will have both handbags listed down below. Again, if you are in the market for having a real Louis Vuitton bag, I would highly recommend this one. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the comparison. Do you guys like Daisy Rose? Are you considering purchasing a Daisy Rose handbag? They have, if you guys saw in my last video, I will also link it down below. They have wallets, they have backpacks, they have clutches, they have cute little purses, and then they obviously have the dupe for the Neverfull. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd be curious to find out. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.